So this is another possible setup, or just her psychologist mind games as a narcissist mother. <clears throat> to control my life, to spark my anxiety, or whatever the case may be she wants. Whatever she's trying to pursue in her false narrative. I post about wanting to do braids. Innocent braids, trying to make an extra few bucks, you know, from my pocket, etc. Pay my phone bill, pay a couple of things, you know what I'm saying? Um, Have some money to go out to eat or whatever, what I, what I want to do, right? Um, Innocently, right? And my friend gave me the idea because he posted his video of doing twists. And I'm like, so I went to braid my hair. I got inspired to braid my hair and start braiding hair. You know, innocent. And I, I shared his post too as well. Innocent braid, braid, you know, braids and twists. Hair, hairstyle. And I could taper, you know, I always taper my beard and my sideburn, right? So I could taper pretty well. So um, I'm doing that. My mom sees the post and starts asking, what do you do hair for? You don't like being around me. It's like, what does it matter? What is your point? Because you... Irritated me. It was a pointless conversation to to ask me in the first place. Just basically taunting. I was like, "What are you? What's your point? Are you trying to stop me from making money, or what is your point?" You know what I mean? And and a little venting session right now. But and then she's like, "You don't like being around people, da da da." So I'm just gonna make money and then come back. You know what I mean? <laughs> what's the deal? And she's like, "You always bring problems to me. Bring problems to you." What is braiding hair, normal, innocent braiding hair for a few extra bucks going to cause problems for you? They're going to pay me fucking cash. You know what I mean? They could PayPal me or whatever, but probably pay me in cash since it's in person, etc. The only thing I could think of is that she always manipulates those conversations, manipulates audio or whatever. She probably records and manipulates audio all the time. And then sends it to people and pushes her image or pushes her narrative to people. And then tries to, you know what I mean? Because I always have to clarify fucking lies. You can even see on my page. They say something and I'm like, I didn't even know that. You know what I mean? Like, like what the fuck are you talking about? You know what I mean? You're probably hearing some bullshit. You know what I mean? Saying? Because this goes all through my comments. Reply the comments. Like, they come up. They come at me with bad information every time. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what are you talking about? You know what I mean? So, that's just a, a reoccurring story in my thing. You can't really believe anyone when it comes to fairy tales told about me, right? Told about me. Everyone's turn telling fairy tales. Fucking whole cities and states and shit. Fucking different states still still tell fairy tales and shit. But anyways, regardless of that situation, is that I'm trying to make innocent money, legal money. I'll never make illegal money cuz especially from my home or my, you know, me my town, I always learn don't do things where you lay your head at. Anything bad and then don't, um, don't, um, like, don't invite people over, you know, unless you really trust them, you know what I'm saying? Um, also, don't do criminal, criminal activity in your own town. That's what I learned, too. Don't ever do it in your own town. Probably not in your own state, either. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you're really smart about it. But anyways, um, anyways, I'm doing, trying to braid hair, right? I got inspired by the homies doing twists, right? And then I shared his post and shit. And she comes at me and says, you always bring problems to me. Which I didn't really get because how is trying to start a cell phone business or braiding hair bring problems to anybody? It doesn't make no sense. Unless she has an ulterior motive in her conscience to put push and portray receiving money for an ulterior motive or setup or a conspiracy working with uh, people in her hometown, Mammoth Independence, also correlated with my family members, probably Irma Young and her associates. I did have a dream of my Uncle Domingo, Amaya, uh, number two, Minguito, and his friends being involved, or his associates, or people around that, so, so, um, and him protecting me. So it could all correlate together with prophetic dreams, Minguito warning me, etc., family involved, etc., so, um, this is just dreams and prophecies that kind of confirm, kind of not confirm yet, but I do assume and have intuition on it. But anyways, the point being is even if she plays mind games, that's gang stalking still. She's manipulating, uh, using her psychology. She went to school for like 10 years or whatever, something like that. 
for psychology, right? And dropped out 10 hours short of graduation. Only real criminals do that so they don't have a certificate, right? So they can utilize their, their knowledge for the wrong reasons. That's a real criminal activity. Learn everything up until the last moment. You drop out. Boom. No certificate. But you're, you got every knowledge behind it, right? That's what a real true organized criminal does. I don't know if my mom did that on purpose or what, but that's what they do in the movies. That's what they do in real life. So I know people would be about it like that. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, the point is manipulation of audio, manipulation of conversations that are purely innocent for a narrative that is pure evil against a prophet that is trying to make an extra buck and anyways, with, and not trying to ask for a handout. And then the evil one trying to bring him down. That's just what it is.